All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna give you a walk around. So, we finished up the hybrid build. So this is a 2020 CRF 450 engine, for those of you new to the channel. Uh, it has a JB racing conversion kit, so they supply the mounts. Uh, top mounts, front mounts, bottom mount, swing arm, carrier, kind of everything. Uh, coolant hose, you can see here some heat wrapping and stuff. So I want to talk you through some of the ins and outs now that it's finished uh, and just kind of walk you around the quad. So for those of you new to the channel, it's a 2007 TRX 450. Uh, it has, starting at the front, stock front bumper, has the Hauser uh, MX uh, plus 2.25 A-arms that uh, actually have LTR spindles, so it's a sponsored part that I got from somebody on Facebook. Uh, so these are LTR spindles, hubs, brakes, everything. Um, PEP shocks, these are PB1s, the black body ones. It's got a precision steering stabilizer here. Uh, so it's just the standard model. So it has uh, on center and then off center. It's got a Hauser steering stem for the LTR uh, spindles. So you have to run different uh, tie rod ends for that. Four works hood, Renthal bars, uh, some new stuff that we added. It has an ARC uh, front clutch perch. This is for the 2020 CRF, since that's the motor that has in it now. We had to change the clutch perch. Uh, and then it actually has a 2020 CRF 450 brake master cylinder and an ARC front brake lever. Uh, steel braided brake lines. Um, and then it has a 2009 LTR 450 throttle housing and a stock TRX throttle cable. Uh, it works, it marries up, it's the right length to go to the throttle body and everything like that. So it's kind of cool. Um, I think these are CR high uh, handlebars, so something interesting too. Uh, up at the front, we'll pull the, uh, the cover for you here. So we'll take these little pins out here and uh, show you what's under the hood. If this last one will come off, and we'll just leave it like that. So as you can see here, the battery is relocated under the hood. Uh, for the CRF. Um, it's just the stock CRF battery. See some of the wiring here, other wires here. So this is a fan switch. So that's what these wires are for. Uh, this is actually the Walsh battery holder. Um, it just looks pretty clean there, I think. Uh, so all the old ECU and everything like that is no longer here. So it looks kind of cool. So here's that fan switch, just an on off switch for the fan manually. Uh, it's just the stock TRX 450 fan, so that's pretty cool. Um, coming up under here, stock TRX radiator. It does have a Walsh lowering kit, so you have to re-weld on these tabs and it actually angles it differently uh, to get the gas tank to sit lower. So something a little bit different. Stock TRX fan, uh, you can see here, here's the fuel line for the uh, fuel pump that's under here. It's the uh, stock CRF 450 fuel pump. And then I said a little bit of heat shielding um, because the exhaust is right there. Uh, it's a DASA exhaust. So this is the head pipe they do for the uh, CRF 450, sorry. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. We did CV4 hoses. These are just the stock hoses that I had on my TRX. Uh, we cut down a little bit to make it work with the CRF. Um, it has a BCC skid plate, so skid plate under there. Um, just to kind of make it smoother for the dunes. You can kind of roll over stuff a little bit easier. Uh, it does have four works titanium uh, engine bolts. Uh, and then front and top, top mount bolts there. Uh, and then it has titanium A-arm bolts and then shock bolts as well. So that's kind of a, a different trick. It does have a CV4 1.4 radiator cap. Lets you build a little bit more pressure. Uh, the CRFs are known to get a little bit hot so there's that, there's another engine shot. Here's the DASA exhaust. Uh, it's just the stock TRX exhaust, which is kind of cool. Moving around the back here, JB Swing Arm, JB Superlink, 
uh, with a PEP rear shock. So it's the big body. And then we have the uh, huge uni filter, no air box, just kind of hanging out there. Nice and pretty, nice and oiled up. Uh, gearing, I believe it's a stock CRF, so it's probably 14 to 38 right now, and I seem to like it. Um, pulls really well, third gear is really good for most everything in the dunes. It has a tusk rear axle, um, just for the dunes. I don't really need anything stronger. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, Lone Star parking brake block off. I'm sure all you guys that have that run that. Steel braided brake line, uh, just from Lone Star, a little cheap piece. Makes it look a little bit cleaner. The paddle tires are a uh, 21, 12 by eight, so eight inch rim, seven paddle. And then I do like the Sandstar front. I think they turn better with the dual rib design than the Mohawks. Moving on to the other side, we have the Hammerhead Plus 20 shifter. It's up a little high because I do wear full boots, so it's easier to grab into. Um, you can see the other shot of the engine here. So there's some electronics up here, uh, everything like that. Clutch cable, stock CRF clutch cable. Uh, really nice open space here, makes the bike look really lightweight. Uh, IMS roll foot pegs, um, no, no heel guards, just seem to like it just fine. They grip really good. Another shot of that PEP shock. Um, it's a Walsh uh, lowered subframe, so that's something a little bit different. Here you can kind of see the lowering kit, see these ugly gaps. You bolt the aluminum tank a little bit differently, the tank drops lower, lower center of gravity, turns better. Um, so yeah, we can pop the seat, you can see the intake. So, here's our intake, it's a 161 Motorsport intake. Here's the ECU that has been reflashed by TDR Racing, uh, Tim over at TDR. Here's the stock rectifier and everything. This is the JB bracket, um, and then you can see the, the downdraft intake right there. So, little temperature sensor there, it's pretty cool. It still has the stock toolkit. Um, pretty neat. The seat latch is gone. Uh, with the lowering kit, you do these seat pins. So you drill through that and then two pins lock in your seat so it doesn't come off instead of this stock little thingy here. Kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it. There's a start button, stop button, map switch, launch control. Uh, I think that's also traction control. On off switch we already covered. Um, yeah, any other uh, things you guys want to know, just uh, hit me up in the DMs. Um, love to respond. Instagram, uh, MF Films, or the YouTube channel right here. And uh, yeah, we'll keep it rolling. Keep you guys getting some more footage. We're still working on the uh, LTR build, waiting for dyno time. Got the CRF there, we're waiting to take apart 110 and then the 80 over there that we're uh, doing some clutch stuff to the secondary. So. Stay tuned for more comments and uh, content, and we'll uh, see you soon. See you guys. Bye.